Now, millions of BlackBerry smartphone users have had problems with their emails, messaging and internet browsing for a third day now. The outage is a big blow for the Canadian company which runs BlackBerry's research in motion. It's facing fierce competition from other devices like Apple's iPhone and handsets running the Android system. So let's take a quick look now at who exactly is affected and where. Now, the problems started on Monday, and initially it was Europe, the Middle East, Africa and India that were hit. On Tuesday, Research in Motion said the problems had been fixed, before admitting that actually they had spread to Argentina, Brazil and Chile as well. On Wednesday, the problems reached the massive markets of North America. Not looking good for research in motion. To discuss this further, we're joined in the studio now by Ross Trinick, a public relations consultant who specializes in crisis management. Thank you for joining us, but really you should be speaking to research in motion, shouldn't you? They're not handling it very well, and people, especially on Twitter, which seems to be where people right now are getting most of their information on this, are furious, not just at the fact that the Blackberries are down, but the fact that no one's really being told what's going on. This is true. This is the key problem for BlackBerry. They rely entirely on their de dependability as a brand, and currently they just haven't been getting the message out there. So this morning we had from Stephen Bates, who's the UK managing director of RIM, who made his announcement apologising. But this is all people don't seem to be getting the message. So they need to be launching a full-scale campaign. It needs to be online. Need to be texting people. Needs to be print and broadcast just to let people know because they need reassuring right now. Also, it's interesting because most people that use Blackberries use it for work because it's the one that's got the best security. So I guess if people knew that Blackberries were going to be off for three days, then they would just seek alternatives and maybe not leave home or tell their colleagues that they're not going to be reachable on Blackberry. I mean, how, what effect is that going to have on research in motion? Well, it's absolutely disastrous. This is uh, akin to BP saying, sorry, our petrol doesn't work in your cars. It's like Coca-Cola saying, I'm, in fact, our drink doesn't taste very nice. It's absolutely catastrophic. In terms of share price, the share price has actually been going up over the last few days slightly. How can that be? Well, I think it, this is because it's a, a consumer-driven market. So in the, in the long run, what we're looking at is a real problem with the brand damage. So over the next sort of months and years, you'll, it could be a major issue in a very competitive market that people can't rely on a BlackBerry anymore. I mean, you mentioned some ways in which uh, the BlackBerry or Research in Motion could make the situation better. I suppose the iPhone 4 has just been unveiled. I think it's on the shelves soon, certainly in, in the UK. I mean, do you think that the damage that's been done to BlackBerry can be reversed? I think it can be. I think, generally speaking, it's never too late to start addressing the issue. But they really do need to start acting very quickly. They need to, they need to use every channel they can. And their apology needs to come from the most senior level just to let people know they're working on it. And crucially, that the problem's not going to happen again. Indeed. Ross Trinick, we're going to have to leave it there. Thank you so much for joining us.